The first is Robin Reed, a member of the 1978 Hall of Fame class. Reed took up wrestling in high school in Portland to escape from mandatory gym classes. He quickly learned the fundamentals of the sport and learned them so well that he never lost a wrestling match to anyone of any size. While wrestling for what was then known as Oregon Agricultural College, Reed won national AAU championships in 1921, 1922, and 1924. Although his weight was closer to 140 pounds, he often wrestled at 170. He established his stature as world champion by winning the gold medal at 134 pounds while beating his Beaver teammate Chet Newton in the gold medal match at the 1924 Olympic Games in Paris. In doing so, he pinned every opponent he faced. Had the rules permitted, he might well have won a handful of gold medals. Reed coached the championship team in Corvallis High School while still a student at Oregon State. When he returned from the 1924 games, he voluntarily ended his amateur career and was named varsity coach even though he was still taking classes. His 1926 Beavers won the national AAU title. He appeared as a professional wrestler for a decade and entered the real estate field. In 1936, he built a house on the Oregon coast where he lived the rest of his life with his wife. Accepting a replica banner in honor of Robin Reed is Troy Steiner. This banner will be displayed for all current and future Oregon State wrestlers to see. Les Gutches was inducted earlier this year into the National Wrestling Hall of Fame. From the time he was a very young wrestler, it was clear that Les Gutches was destined for greatness. From the time he stepped on the mat as a cadet until he retired from competition, Gutches won a national championship in either freestyle or Greco-Roman wrestling in every age group. Cadet, junior, esquad, university, and senior, and became the first competitor in USA wrestling history to do so. In high school, Gutches was a three-time state champion for South Medford High School. At Oregon State, he compiled a record of 134 and 10 and earned All-America honors three times, finishing fifth in the 1994 NCAA championships, then following with back-to-back -back titles at 177 pounds in 1995 and 1996. In his final two years, only once was an opponent able to score a takedown against him. After 69 straight victories, the second longest winning streak in program history, he won both the NCAA Outstanding Wrestler Award and the Hodge Trophy as the best collegiate wrestler of 1996. Between his junior and senior seasons, Gutches reached the finals of both the U.S. Nationals and the World Team Trials, losing to former world freestyle champion and defending Olympic champion Kevin Jackson. A year later, he defeated Jackson to make the 1996 Olympic team. Gutches finished seventh in front of the Atlanta home crowd. In 1997, Gutches won the gold medal in his first world championship. After a seventh place world finish in 1998, Gutches again reached the podium in 1999, winning a world bronze. Although he won his fifth straight U.S. national freestyle title in 2000, a back injury hampered his quest for a second Olympics, and he retired shortly afterward. Today, Gutches lives in Corvallis with his wife Jennifer, daughter Lexi, age five, and son Logan, age two. Ladies and gentlemen, 